Here's a little how to paint a wildlife scene. This is a deer running across the field, but I already have the deer drawn, but in most paintings, you're gonna always wanna work from the furthest objects away all the way to the foreground, which is the deer in this case. So I start with the sky, then I start the tree line, and I do a little bit of the grass, but um, the main reason why you would wanna do something like that is it's so much harder to come back and paint the background once you have the foreground painted. So you don't want to be painting around things that you finally like because it never looks cohesive. You want to be able to have a smooth transition of color or, or everything in the background. So it's easier to paint over the background than it is to paint the background in later. Um, just a key tip for anybody starting off. Um, and then once you have the background kind of muted and you don't want it to have too much contrast because then it'll pull away from your subject matter. You always want your thing that you have the most, your focal point on, which is in this case the deer, to have the most lights and darks, so contrast in it. Um, here I'm just painting the color into it, uh, just adding more browns and stuff, but as you can see it's, it's jumping off the page already just by having the bold colors in the deer where everything else is muted. You want if you were to close your eyes right now or like squint, you want to be able to see what your subject matter is. And if you have too many colors, too many other things going on, that's going to get muddled and you're not going to be able to see what it is. You want to be at a glance, be able to know, oh, that's a picture of a deer. Um, and a lot of times I like to use a standard palette, but like I pick out like 10 or seven colors um, and I try to stick with those 10 to seven colors throughout the whole painting. So since I used a blue and a couple browns and oranges, I try to put those throughout the whole painting. Um, so in a minute here, you'll probably see me add blues to the tufts of the fur. Uh, it just helps give a, a cohesive feeling to the whole entire painting. And it kind of harmonizes it all. Uh, the more colors you bring in, it's harder to sprinkle them throughout and it kind of gets to be too busy. Your brain only likes to think about a couple different colors here and there, so you don't want to add, introduce like too many weird colors. Like if I were to put a hot pink in there, your eye would be drawn to it immediately. Um, but yeah, you just want to keep harmony, and then you work from the furthest away to the closest. So now that, towards the end of the painting, I'm doing here the foreground, which is just the grass. Um, it's good to note, but uh, yeah, work furthest away to closest. That's the big key in this painting. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you've gotten anything out of this, please subscribe.